So I'm sure you've all seen the chat GPT stuff. I have too, but I haven't been able to find anything that's super useful. And I came up with one today. And so let me show this to you. I'm in the middle of making a tutorial about how to filter items from an API call. And so I need a JSON object returned from an API that has a specific structure. Now, I could type this all out, that JSON object myself, but then I thought, oh, why don't I dump this into ChatGPT and see how it does with it? So here is uh, my first prompt that I made, make a JSON object of products with a title property, categories property, that is an array of strings, and a rating property, one through five. So here it gave me this, um, and I find that ChatGPT sometimes does this where it, it like adds in sort of like an educational component where it like explains to you what that thing is. So it made this finally. So this is an array of objects. That's great. Has a title property, categories. So it just gave me like category A, B, you know, whatever, um, and a rating. And then I was like, oh, wait, I want it to be like particular. I don't want it to be that general. So I said, make a JSON object again but with fruit and uh, have 50 fruits in the JSON object. And so it gave me this. And I mean, this is just so cool, right? Like it changed the categories to semantic categories, essentially, that made sense. And I've got a bunch of um, fruit and that's amazing. Um, but then I saw that, oh, it has, because essentially in my, in my video, I'm going to need to dynamically filter on these categories and these just have fruit and I want some like multiple categories so you can see that filtering in real time. And so I was like, oh, let's make these vegetables. Um, and so I said, redo that JSON object with 20 vegetables, vegetables include color in the categories. Um, and so I got this and so it added this but it also added in root uh crew whatever that is um so this must be like a type of a uh, vegetable or something i'm not really sure so then um i got overloaded um but i said put two items in the category array vegetable and one color and that's what i got here I did see that there's like, it was it was sometimes not getting me up to like 50 or whatever. So then I just did like 20 and 20 to get my fruit and my vegetables, um, but it worked. So one application here that I discovered is whenever you have to like produce like dummy data, you know, lorem ipsum type stuff, it's really helpful for that. Especially like, cause like lorem ipsum is easy, but if you have like more complex and sort of specific data structures that you need dummy data, this is great for it.